God is saying to you today. There is a person who does not keep in frequent communication with you, but who continues to have excellent feelings for you even if you are not in regular contact with this person. Even though you are not in regular contact with this person, this person continues to have great feelings for you. The prospect of not being able to communicate with you brings this person to tears on a regular basis because they simply cannot stand the idea of being apart from you. They want you to know how much they care about you, how much they miss you, and how much they love you. They want you to know how much they miss you. They want you to know how much they care for you and how much they miss you. Because God is aware of how much this remarkable connection means to you, He does not want you to sever it because He does not want you to suffer the loss of something that is so important to you. People who lack love have a limited understanding of God since love is at the center of God's being. Thus, people who lack love have a limited knowledge of God. If you have faith in God, please watch this video till end. In spite of what God says, I will confess that there are instances when I think that they are acting in an unjust manner despite the fact that they are saying they are obeying God. But, O oh Lord God, as I reflect back on certain situations, I can now see how you have been there the whole time, working things out so that they are to my advantage even though I did not understand it at the time. You have been working things out so that they are for my benefit even though you have been working things out. It is not possible to ignore this requirement under any circumstances. During the course of the next week, you are going to see a momentous occurrence in your life that will leave you speechless. Something that you have been hoping for and crossing your fingers for will finally materialize for you at some point. It is essential to maintain an attitude of openness and acceptance. I just wanted to take a minute to express my gratitude to you for all of the good things that you have provided to my life. I am aware of the fact that I do not earn your love, yet despite this, you have shown patience toward me. All glory and honor to the Father who is forever, I just wanted to take a moment to show my appreciation to you for all of the beautiful things that you have done to my life. I am grateful. Your salvation from God will come in the form of an interruption to the plans that you have formed. If the door is already shut, then it has to be in the correct position in order for it to be shut correctly when it is opened again. Please don't go insane. All right? If you believe in God, please show your support by like and sharing this video. There is no reason to be afraid about this happening even if it is probable that some people will leave because it is predicted that they will go on. We are cognizant of the reality that everything takes occur for the advantage of those individuals who have a love for God. To his kid, God says, hey, don't get upset. Keep moving forward, my blessings are with you. God's blessings are with his child. I am counting on you to keep a vigilant eye on and defend everyone in my life who is important to me. I implore you to give consideration to my request. Please provide a helping hand to them so that they might prevail over all of the difficulties and hurdles that they are now experiencing. It is my sincere wish and prayer that the days that pass will only serve to bring you and the people you care about even closer together. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. The happiness that is on the horizon for you is in no way comparable to the suffering that you have been experiencing, which is in no way comparable to what is on the horizon for you, you will be told. The suffering that you have been experiencing is in no way comparable to what is on the horizon for you. 
you can show your love and blessings by giving thanks up to $100. Note that I am going to send an angel ahead of you to keep and guard you on the journey, and to convey you to the location that I have planned for you. Take this into consideration, for I am going to send an angel ahead of you. I want you to pay attention because I am going to dispatch an angel in front of you very soon. Bring into my life the people who are meant to be there, and do all you can to get rid of the people who aren't a good match as quickly as you can. I have high hopes that you will lead me along the road to your love and that you will be able to fulfill me with the happiness that you provide. To that I say, Amen. In the name of Jesus. There are instances when people's access to certain types of information is limited. Even though the people around me are oblivious about what I am going through right now, God is aware of all that I am going through. This is a comforting thought. I am certain that he will see me through this challenge since he is aware of every aspect of the situation. I have complete confidence in him. We should not give up hope because the Lord makes triumph possible, despite the complexity of the challenges we are facing, thus, we should not give up. You won't be able to get by him. Your life is about to be turned upside down by a string of amazing events. This month will prove to be a pivotal one in your life, and you will realize that it represents a crucial turning point. 222. The specific instruction that you should follow from God will become transparent to you when the light of your intuition shines upon it. If you are willing to give it your whole attention and focus, you will be able to see wonders emerge right in front of your very eyes. If you believe, type 222. If you are uncertain as to whether or not a specific action would have an impact, pay attention to the voice of your intuition and select appropriately. God gives the human race the following advice, hey, my child, listen to what your heart says, and choose accordingly. You are getting a message from God that says, I need you to get excited about life once more. I want to underline how vital it is for you to keep in mind that you are not confronting this problem by yourself. I want you to become excited about life once again. Throw away your anxieties and put your faith in me. I've got a truly fantastic answer in store for you. I am now working through your issues, and I have already deployed angels to aid you in every manner that I can. In point of fact, this is the reason why you need to be delighted once again, because the wonderful finale that I've got in store for you is going to shake up your entire universe. I just wanted to take a minute to express my gratitude to you for all of the good things that you have contributed to my life. I am aware of the fact that I do not earn your affection, yet despite this, you have shown patience toward me. Thank you. All glory and honor to the Father who is forever, I just wanted to take a moment to show my appreciation to you for all of the wonderful things that you have given to my life. I need you to keep a watchful eye on and protect everyone that is dear to me. I beg you to listen to my plea. Please provide them with support in overcoming all of the challenges and difficulties that they are facing. In the name of Jesus, Amen. The pursuit of knowledge, as opposed to the conduct of criminal acts, provides love with the greatest gratification. Love never fails to defend, it never fails to trust, it never gives up hope, and it never gives up persevering. Love is always successful. 444 both the purpose and the plan that God has for your life are wonderful, and at this moment in time, 
He is the one who is directing your actions. If you believe in God, type 444. Even if you may not be able to fathom how this is possible, you should take heart in the knowledge that God is not caught off guard by the situations you are going through. God is able to develop a plan that is exactly perfect for everything. You can count on him to watch over and defend you. He is never more than a short distance away from you. It is impossible to deny that he is thinking about you. He is always close by. And now, may the God who gives hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the prayer that I ask for you. Faith may be defined as the quality of believing in something despite the fact that there is no evidence to support such a view. I just wanted to take a minute to express my gratitude to you for all of the good things that you have contributed to my life. I am aware of the fact that I do not earn your affection, yet despite this, you have shown patience toward me. Thank you. All glory and honor to the Father who is forever, I just wanted to take a moment to show my appreciation to you for all of the wonderful things that you have given to my life. Even in the most trying of circumstances, the words of God are everywhere around us. If we take the time to seek them out, we could even find them in the middle of the splendor of a truly amazing moment. Flags for us and we think it's reasonable to conclude that your intentions are respectable, despite the fact that the globe as a whole is presently going through a moment of enormous change. Your prayers are being heard, and we ask that you keep praying even though they are being answered. It's off to a great start. There will be no more sorrow, hopelessness, or complacency. According to God, he has gone away. Your enemy has finally been destroyed. That adversary has been vanquished and put to death as a direct result of the efficacy of the name of Jesus, which has resulted in the removal of the person who was accountable for all of those things in your life and the fact that they are no longer around to conduct them. Because you are aware that we addressed each of you in the same manner as a father addresses his own children, we comforted, encouraged, and urged you to live lives that are worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. This is due to the fact that we approached each of you in the same manner as a father approaches his own children. Jesus looked at them and then told them, with man this is impossible, but not with God, with God, all things are possible. After gazing at them, Jesus said this to them. Type yes to claim this blessing. The steps of the one who takes an interest in the Lord are strengthened, even though he may trip and fall, the Lord will lift him up with his hand so that he does not fall. Let us not give up the practice of getting together, as some people have developed the habit of doing, rather, let us encourage one another, and let us encourage one another a great deal more as the day draws closer. And while we're at it, let's talk about some of the ways in which we might inspire one another toward acts of love and kindness. Let's not give up the practice of getting together, as some people have developed the habit of doing, instead, let's not give up the practice of getting together. You should not be scared, little sheep, since your father has given you the kingdom because he finds great pleasure in having control over you so that he may use that authority. Because the Lord, your God, is walking with you. There is no reason to be frightened or concerned because he will never abandon you nor turn his back on you. Maintain your composure and your strength in spite of the difficulties. In the middle of my adversaries, 
You have cooked a dinner for me and set the table. You have poured oil on my head, and as a consequence, my cup is now full to the brim. It is certain that I will spend the rest of my days abiding in the house of the Lord, and it is also certain that your regard and affection will continue to follow me for the rest of my life. Both of these things are certain. God is our safe haven and our strength, and any time we seek His aid, He is there for us just as He has been from the beginning. Please spread the words by sharing this video. Even if the ground gives way and the mountains collapse into the depths of the ocean, even if the waves of the sea cry in froth, and even if the ground shakes as a result of the surging of the seas, we will not be frightened as a result of this. You were called to this life, and now it is time for you to answer the call. You are free to live the life you want. Stay steadfast in your faith while you fight this good war. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in front of a large number of witnesses. Stay steadfast in your faith while you fight this good war. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called. In point of fact, I am able to find rest for my spirit in God, and I turn to Him as the basis of my hope since He is the one who created me. My salvation and my honor are both dependent on God, who is both my stronghold and my enormous rock. He is my provider. If I'm being honest, He is both my rock and my salvation, He is my fortress, and I will not be rocked from my position. My salvation and my honor are both dependent on God. Given that God is our safe haven, you should never waver in the confidence that you have in Him, and you should pray to Him with all of your heart. Sincerity is a prerequisite for romantic love, and avoiding the negative in order to focus on the positive is the most efficient method to deal with negative situations. Respect one another above all else, and respect yourself second. When you are serving the Lord, you should never find yourself lacking in enthusiasm, but instead you should work to sustain your spiritual fire. Be joyful in the hope that you have, patient in the pain that you are going through, and faithful in your prayer. May the God of hope fill you to the brim with his own perfect joy and peace as you place your faith in God. May the power of the Holy Spirit lead you to be filled to the brim with hope, and may you be filled to the brim with hope as you place your trust in God. Because I am well aware of the plans that I have formulated for you, says the Lord, plans to make your life easier, not plans to make your life more difficult, plans to give you hope in a future. If you search for me with all of your heart, you will find me when you look for me. If you look for me with all of your heart, you will find me when you look for me. If you look for me with all of your heart, you will find me when you look for me. If you call upon my name and come to worship me, I will give serious regard to what you have to say. God says, Give me your troubles, and I'll make sure they're taken care of. I will uncover a solution to any difficulty, and I will bestow unending tranquility onto you. Even if the conditions in your life are starting to grow more hard, you should never give up hope. 333. It will be wonderful, and it will put an end to every tension that you have at this point in your life. You will no longer have to worry about anything. Tonight, as you relax in the peace and security of God's presence as you wait for it to arrive, the answer to your prayers will be revealed to you. As you wait for it, you may take comfort in the knowledge that you are in good hands. Type 333 if you have faith. 
if you are committed to see this war through to its finish, I guarantee that I will bestow upon you today my gifts of serenity, healing, and triumph. Always bear in mind that I am always looking out for your very best interests in any scenario. In spite of the dreadful situation I find myself in right now, I am going to create something that is truly amazing. Get ready to enjoy the fruits of your labor, which will be the direct consequence of your hard work. I will work miracles to return your physical, mental, and spiritual health back to its full vigor. The fact that God has spoken these words and proclaimed, today is the day when I will bestow upon you an incredible blessing, is proof that this day has at long last come to pass. I will do miracles to bring your health back to its full strength. Your life is about to take a turn for the better, and in the not too distant future, you will be showered with an abundant supply of good fortune. Because today is your fortunate day, there is no chance that what has transpired today could have been a coincidence in any fashion. God has given you a prophecy that suddenly you will have a huge degree of success in addition to a significant number of blessings. He says this will happen immediately. If you want to see significant improvements in your life, you must make sure that you do not cease believing in a higher power or praying, because if you do either of those things, you will not get the changes that you are hoping for. You are about to enter a new time of prosperity, and as a direct result of the changes that are presently taking place in each and every one of your circumstances as a direct result of the activities of the universe, you have to get yourself ready for it as quickly as possible. Your majesty is about to be realized, the light in your life is becoming brighter, and there is nothing or no one that can stop what has been predestined to take place in your life. Your destiny is about to be fulfilled, and the light in your life is increasing brighter. Type yes to claim this blessing. In the not too distant future, you are going to take part in a celebration that has a significant amount of meaning for you. When you tell everyone the wonderful news, you are going to experience an overwhelming sensation of excitement and delight that you won't be able to keep for very long. When you think about how quickly everything took place for you, it's almost hard to believe that it all took place in such a short period of time. When you look back on it, it almost seems incredible that everything occurred to you in such a little amount of time. In the small hours of tomorrow morning, God is going to perform a miracle for you that will put an end to all of the anxiety that you have been feeling and will put an end to all of the suffering that you have been going through. This miracle will take place. They want you to put your faith in the significance of synchronicity and the timing of divine intervention, and they are trying to encourage you to do so. The angels want you to do this because they want you to succeed. You have been blessed by the Supreme God with the presence of that other individual in order to provide assistance to you and shield you from any damage that may befall you in the foreseeable future. Because you are God's child, the Almighty does not want you to ever fail or suffer in any way, and He will do all in His power to prevent this from occurring to you. He does not intend for you to ever fail or suffer in any way. If you have confidence in God, please like and share this video by clicking the like and share buttons below. God gives the following promise to his people, even in those times when you feel undeserving, I will watch over you and shield you from the evil that is in the world. You are going to be the one who is going to gain God's blessing after the one who is going to come after you. The crying will ultimately cease, the suffering will come to an end, and new opportunities will present themselves. 
In the very near future, you are going to see a great financial miracle that includes money. Your life is about to take a dramatic turn for the better as a result of the workings of the universe. This is going to be an unbelievable blessing, one that is far greater than anything else you could have dreamed for or imagined occurring in your life. It is going to be a turn in the path of your life that is about to take a dramatic turn for the better. During the coming week, the amount of money in your bank account will expand beyond what you are able to spend, and at the same time, a flood of new opportunities to generate money will come into your life. Type yes if you believe it. If you decide that I should take precedence over everything else in your life, I guarantee that I will offer you nothing but joy. Considering that everything on earth is only going to be here for a little while, you should prioritize coming closer to me with your time. God says, I am everlasting. You are about to learn something tomorrow that will dramatically alter your life and put you on the route to opulence, prosperity, and unlimited joy. This information will set you on the way to a better future. God has a conversation with a human person, and he tells them, My child, you worry about things far too much. Always keep in mind that I am capable of managing whatever thrown my way, no matter how challenging it may seem. If it only took me six days to create the heavens and the earth, it shouldn't be too difficult for me to bring about big changes in your life in just one day. Immediately after this, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. According to Jesus, whomever bows down to his authority will never suffer thirst, and whoever seeks his guidance will never be hungry. Those who put their trust in me will never have to go through any of these terrible experiences. Pray not just because there is anything you require, but also because there is a lot for which you should thank God. This is an important reason to pray. You will discover that a miracle has already been accomplished for you when you wake up tomorrow morning. This will come as a complete and utter surprise to you. Do not let this chance pass without first expressing your thankfulness to God for the miracle that has occurred. Do not miss out on this chance. It's possible that you won't be able to get what you want until you've reached the point in your life when you've become the sort of person who deserves to have it given to them. Nobody will be able to injure you if the things you do and the things you intend to do are both in alignment with one another. Comment Amen if you believe in God. Once you have brought your character and your aims into harmony with one another, you will be able to create a worldwide symphony that will serve as the background soundtrack to your successes. Once you have done this, you will be able to do everything you set your mind to. You are forced to spend one more night sobbing and growing nervous about the issue, but this is the last night you will have to do so. In addition to all of these other amazing things, I will bless you with riches, health, joy, and happiness, and I will bring all of these things into your life. Those who are able to read this will be glad to find out that the previously distressing situation has been nearly entirely handled. As a consequence of the good energy, financial assistance, miracles, and blessings that are being offered by the universe, the trajectory of your life is going to experience a sea change in the near future. This week, God will make all of the benefits that He has already bestowed upon you much more plentiful than they now are. You are going to experience a level of pleasure that is unrivaled by anything else of its like that you have ever come across in your life, and it is going to be incredible. 
you will soon not have to worry about having to deal with one of the issues that has been giving you headaches for a lengthy amount of time because it will soon be handled, and you will no longer have to deal with it. You will reach new heights of accomplishment in every area of your life, such as your wealth, your health, the person you love, and the bond you share with one another. In order for you to get the most out of both your journey and the individuals you meet along the way, I will put you in the company of supportive people. When I looked over you in the past, and when I watch over you in the future, I will continue to do so in the same way that I did in the past. Exercising patience and having trust in one's own abilities as well as those of others is essential. The materialization of your ideal existence is occurring right before your very eyes at this precise moment. It appears as though everything is falling into place in the most improbable but miraculous of ways, and everything is gradually becoming cohesive. 1111 you are about to enter a new chapter in your life in which everything will go your way and work out for the better, just when it needs to, every single time. This phase will last for the duration that you have been waiting for. You are about to enter a time in which everything will go pleasantly and successfully for you, and everything will work out for the best. If you believe, type 1111. You are destined to amass a fortune of unfathomable proportions, as this is inscribed in the constellations. You are going to be bestowed with a gift from the universe that will not only provide you with an endless flow of money, but also the liberty to live the life of your dreams. God says, never forget that each and every morning brings with it a fresh opportunity to accept my benefits. Always keep this in the back of your mind. You will find these chances waiting for you. You shouldn't give up just because you had a horrible day. Instead, you should relish the thought that tomorrow will be a brand new day full of brand new rewards for you to acquire. If you give up, you won't be able to earn those prizes. You are very close to making a breakthrough and your adversaries will be completely taken aback by the way in which you react to whatever challenges they throw at you. This is a promise that God gave to his people, and he said to them, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. You are very close to making a breakthrough, and you are very close to making it. You will, by the end of this month, be sleeping in your new house, having money stream into your bank account, living out your dreams, and having a great time with the people who are important to you. You will also be living with the person who you have come to view as the love of your life. The Lord, who is your God, is presently at work to bring about significant changes in the direction that your life will go in the future. He will enter your life and transform all of the anguish you have endured into delight, as well as all of the setbacks you have experienced into successes. Whatever it was that brought tears to your eyes in the past is nothing compared to the good things that are waiting for you in the years to come and that will bring a smile to your face whenever you think about them. The plans that God has for the future include something greater and more excellent for you and they indicate that this is in store for you in the future. If you agree, type yes. Get yourself ready for the miracle that is coming your way, and get thrilled about the gift that is coming your way. The Lord has stated, I am going to do the impossible for you. Angels are cheering you on to maintain the most virtuous behavior that you are now exhibiting as much as they possibly can. It is critical that you have a positive outlook even while you go about your daily routines and responsibilities. You are not exerting yourself for the benefit of other people, 
rather, you are exerting yourself for the benefit of God. This is the reason why you are putting in the effort. Instead of looking to the work that you have as the primary source of your power, you should look to the trust that you have in God. He is the one who is responsible for ensuring that the documents are kept in their completeness at all times. Because your time will come, you had well prepare ready for it. Because God has reassured you, there is no need for you to worry about the next step in your life. All that is required of you is to put your confidence in Him and make an effort that is honest. God pronounces, at this point, you have been wholly reliant on the autopilot to manage everything for a considerable amount of time. You have a hard time being present in the here and now and appreciating the great things that are happening all around you. This makes it difficult for you to fully appreciate your surroundings. You have had a lot of difficulty in this regard. Put an end to what you're doing for a moment so that you can focus on how you're inhaling and exhaling. Recognize the existence of the items that are situated in the close proximity to you in the immediate surroundings. Send me a message if you want me to bring you calm and serenity in your life. I view things from the same perspective as you do, and I will support you no matter what. You are the apple of my eye. Things are going to be changing substantially in the not too distant future, and things are already beginning to take an extremely exciting new direction. You need to get yourself ready for these next shifts because everything that is occurring right now is happening for your highest potential good, and it is occurring right now. The Bible describes life as a journey that might at any moment be filled with both joy and sorrow simultaneously. If you're feeling down, tell yourself that a better day is just around the corner, and give yourself some time to get ready for it. This will help you feel more positive about the situation. If you're feeling down, it could help to remind yourself that a brighter day is just around the bend. You are the apple of my eye. You are not reading about anything that happened at this moment only by a coincidence. If you agree, type yes. This ought to serve as comfort to you that everything is going to turn out okay in the end. God is now constructing a road in order to provide a path for you to go through the uninhabited land at this exact moment. What is it, child, that the Lord wants you to know about the world? I was aware of your demands at the time that they were being made, when they were being submitted. I am going to immediately provide you the response that you have been praying for, because I know that it is important to you. I am aware of how patiently you have been waiting for it to arrive. According to the Bible, I did not give up my son to be crucified so that you may wallow in your own agony or wallow in your own self-pity as a result of it. Get up on your feet and continue moving forward with your journey. It is clear to me that I can depend on you to provide assistance whenever I need it. I am the God that you adore and serve. You are the apple of my eye. 2222. You are going to be showered with a plethora of benefits in every facet of your life, and as a consequence, you are going to forget about all of your difficulties even before this weekend comes around. Type 2222 if you want this blessing. You are going to educate yourself to the point where you will be able to take pleasure in existence while concurrently bringing about the outcomes that are most beneficial to you. Do you have the ability to kick off the process? If you follow me, you won't have to walk through life in the dark because you'll have the light that leads to life. A phrase that is credited to God in the Bible says, I am the light of the world. 
If you don't follow me, you're going to have to spend the rest of your life wandering about in the dark. If you do not follow my example, you will miss out on the opportunity to see that light. You are going to feel greater joy than you have ever felt before in your life as a direct result of God cleansing your life of all the unfavorable influences that he has placed there. You are going to find love, and you are going to find financial success, and you are going to be happier than you have ever been before. It is stated that God explained that not everyone was supposed to comprehend you, which explains why not everyone does. This explains why not everyone does understand you. You must resist the one to feel let down and cannot allow yourself to give in to it. I get what you are trying to communicate. You are the apple of my eye. Your life is about to go through a significant change in which a stressful issue that has been a burden to you will soon be erased and you will soon have the chance to take advantage of a positive opportunity that will become available to you. If you believe, type Jesus is Lord. The Bible has a proclamation from God that says, I'm going to surprise you. As a result, God has something wonderful and unexpected in store for you. Suddenly, something you believed would never go in the opposite direction actually does move in that direction. At least one member of every family has the potential to escape the cycle of relying on their next income for subsistence and establish themselves as financially independent. This individual is the only one who can put an end to the cycle. Right this moment. A member of your family who is here with us will be the one to read this to you. You are going to make remarkable progress in a variety of facets of your life during the next several years. I hope everything works out for you. In the chronicles of your life's tale, you are about to enter a significant new chapter for which you have been making preparations. This new chapter will be a turning point for you. Under no conditions can one feel the need to live in constant terror. Your hopes, aspirations, and objectives will be realized in due time. It is possible for you to anticipate a rise in the total number of benefits that come your way. If you have faith in God and want to express your support for Him, Please like this video. God says that if you are reading this, then this is the confirmation that your best days have already manifested. If you are reading this, then God says that your best days have already manifested. If you are able to read this, then God is telling you that your happiest days have already come to pass. Bring only positive thoughts into your brain because every single thought you have about whatever it is that you are working so hard to make a reality right now needs to be positive. Bring only wonderful ideas into your head. Think only positive ideas and allow them to fill your head. The Lord says, May the favor of the Lord, His blessings, His peace, and His peace be with you. You will be miraculously saved from the difficulties you are currently fighting with, and God will raise you to greater heights in your life if you continue to be consistent in your dedication to God. You simply need to give the circumstance some further time to work itself out. It is essential that you do not allow your need for fast fulfillment to cause you to lose sight of the numerous things that are presently working in your favor. Doing so would be a grave error. Even if you don't see everything materializing right away, it doesn't mean that fantastic things aren't going your way or aren't already in the process of being prepared for you. Even if you don't see everything materializing right away, it doesn't mean that amazing things aren't heading your way. Even if you don't see everything materializing right away, 
It doesn't mean beautiful things aren't on their way to you. Keep your patience, and don't shirk your commitment to the commitments you've already made. Maintain your confidence in God. God says that you have the ability to do a great deal, but he also says that if you do not put in the work that is required, you will not be successful. I would appreciate it if you could give me an overview of what you have in store for me in the first place. I will form them according to what I believe will provide you the greatest amount of happiness throughout your life, and I will shape them appropriately. You are the apple of my eye. Because you were not created with the goal of conveying such information, the fact that not everyone is able to understand you should not come as a surprise. You must resist the one to feel let down and cannot allow yourself to give in to it. I get what you are trying to communicate. You are the apple of my eye. 555. Your miracle is currently in the process of being delivered to you and will arrive at any minute now. Put an end to your worrying because something really significant is going to take place in your life in the very near future, and you shouldn't waste any more time worrying about it. If you believe, type 555. You will get through this and the future contains nothing but good things in store for you and the people who are most important to you. When God opens this next door for you, you will have an understanding of why the enemy's forces are so difficult to overcome, and you will be able to make appropriate preparations for the fight ahead. Because of the love that I have for you, God says, I have helped you in the past, and you can rest assured that I am helping you right now, and you can rest assured that I will always be here to help you in the future because I care about you. If you are now reading this, you are at the right place at the right time to receive an important employment opportunity within the next week. As a result of this opportunity, you will have the chance to engage in conversation with individuals who have served as examples of positive behavior for you ever since you were a little child. If you want to get the most out of it, you should put it to use as soon as you possibly can if you want to maximize its potential for you. I am, declares the Lord, trust in me. I have been there for you through every difficulty that has presented itself in your life. I have provided you with all that you require. I have watched over you, your loved ones, and your family, and I will continue to do so in the future. Even though things may be challenging for you right now, you should put your confidence in my timing because an improvement in your scenario is on the horizon. In spite of the fact that things may be challenging for you right now, an improvement in your circumstance is on the horizon. Have faith in me, and make the most of the chance to start fresh that today provides you with. You are not reading about anything that happened at this moment only by a coincidence. This ought to serve as comfort to you that everything is going to turn out okay in the end. God is now constructing a road in order to provide a path for you to go through the uninhabited land at this exact moment. The events that are going to take place are not going to have any kind of connection to your skills, accomplishments, or the amount of effort that you have put into anything in any way, shape, or form. I shall have the ability to exert control over it due to the positive regard in which I hold it and the fact that it plays a role in the accomplishment of my objectives. You are about to be bestowed with a blessing that is going to be so exceptional that you won't believe it until you actually experience it for yourself. Today, you are going to notice a significant rise in the number of blessings and opportunities that come your way, as well as a rise in the magnitude of those gifts and possibilities. Very quickly, 
this will get underway and start happening. It is extremely necessary for you to communicate what you are thinking and how you are feeling because of the important changes that are about to take place in your life in the not too distant future. These changes are going to take place in the not too distant future. As you go into the next stage of your life, you will find that you are confronted with some of the most important choices you will ever have to make in your whole life. 12 12 Very quickly your life has already begun to grow in the manner that it was planned for you to, and there are still a lot of fantastic things that are going to happen in the future. This is exactly how it was always supposed to be. You are in a place to be blessed at all times, and it will not be difficult for you to do so. If you believe in God's plan, type 1212. It would appear like someone or something is looking out for your well-being and protecting you in some way. You really ought to put your faith in it. You should place your faith on the people and things that are close to you. The amount of time that was given for waiting has finally been used up. You are about to enjoy an experience that will absolutely astound you and leave you speechless. Raise your frequency and allow yourself to become receptive to the energy that is being directed in your direction by opening up your being. Your prayers are going to be heard very quickly. And when they are, you may look forward to being blessed as a result of them. Do you have the ability to kick off the process? God wants you to know that you do not need to be concerned about the next step in your life. All that is expected of you is to put your trust in me and work as hard as you possibly can. God gives you his assurance that you do not need to worry about the next step in your life. In order for you to get the most out of both your journey and the individuals you meet along the way, I will put you in the company of supportive people. I have been keeping an eye on you, and I intend to do so in the foreseeable future as well. What you are now engaged in piques my curiosity quite a bit. You may expect a lot of good fortune to come your way today. There is no way that this could have happened by chance under any conditions. It is inconceivable. The trajectory of the rest of your life is about to shift in a positive direction, and in the very near future, a lot of fantastic things are going to start happening for you. To manifest, simply type Amen. Greetings and thanks for watching. Subscribe for more messages from God.